Hello and welcome to another All the Mod 6 tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the basics of immersive engineering. Now, immersive engineering is not really a basic mod, but we're going to cover the basics of it. And that should be pretty beneficial, I think. There's a lot to it. You can do so much with it. And quite honestly, some of the multi block structures that they have, and even the single block structures like these wire relays, are just, they're very pretty. I like using them just because of how good they look, honestly. Let's start with the most basic, the coke oven. So the coke oven is going to take coal or blocks of coal and turn it into coal coke. It's also going to produce creosote oil. Creosote oil is used to make treated lumber. So treated wood stairs, treated wood planks, and those are gonna be used in a variety of recipes. Creosote oil is gonna be used to make treated planks, which will then be used to make your capacitors, and other blocks of import, like windmill blades and water wheel blades, all that good stuff. Most of the wood that you're going to need in immersive engineering is going to be treated wood. The next thing you're going to want to build is a blast furnace. A blast furnace takes coal coke as fuel and can turn iron into steel. Steel is then used to make... Things like steel boots and steel swords and all of your tools and armor you can make out of steel if you choose to. And then you have the improved blast furnace. The improved blast furnace has the option of attaching two blast furnace preheaters, one on either side. Those can be powered by electricity. Then we have the kinetic dynamo. And the kinetic dynamo can be powered by a windmill or a water wheel and it produces electricity. And that's the most basic way to get electricity in immersive engineering. And as I've just demonstrated here, you actually can use other sources of electricity in all the Mod 6, such as the unobtainium solar panel from Solar Flux. I'm guessing you can use any solar panel from Solar Flux. You can use any of those to power immersive engineering blocks also. One of the most basic blocks that you can use for resource generation with when we're talking about immersive engineering, is the garden cloche. It's going to automate the growth and harvesting of whatever you put in there. So that's a great way to do resource generation. I'm pretty sure they can even do trees if you put saplings in there. And that's just fantastic because there aren't a lot of ways to automate tree production in this mod pack. Normally you have bonsai pots. A lot of mod packs have bonsai pots mod. And then there's the hopping bonsai pot. And whichever one you choose to use, you can automate tree growth and harvesting that. And the last thing I'm going to cover is the diesel generator. Here you can see I have a completed diesel generator. And we're going to just show you real quick how to build it. Fluid pipes are these gray ones. And steel scaffolding are the ones steel scaffolding looking ones and then we have radiators along the back and a generator block that's layer one layer two is going to be three generator blocks eight heavy engineering blocks a redstone engineering block and three radiator blocks are along the back again layer three is going to be just these five heavy engineering blocks and three radiator blocks and once the multi-block has been properly assembled, you can take your engineer's hammer and right click. And there you go. Now we have a second diesel generator. The diesel generator accepts fluid inputs from either side on the front corners here, and then a redstone input to start it up. It runs on biofuel or fuel, refined fuel, I believe. Now we're going to take a second to cover how to build these multi-block structures. This is the coke oven. It's just going to be a 3x3x3 three by three by three of coke bricks. And then you're going to right click with the engineer's hammer on the center one. And then we have the blast furnace, which is a 3x3x3 three by three by three of blast bricks. And if you right click with the engineer's hammer on the middle block on one of the sides, you get the crude blast furnace. The improved blast furnace is going to be made out of reinforced blast bricks and a hopper. So we're going to do the same 3x3x3 three by three by three with the 
reinforced blast bricks. And then we are going to place a hopper on the top in the middle. And then if we right click one of the centers, we get the improved blast furnace. And of course that's right clicking with an engineer's hammer. And that really is the basics of immersive engineering. So you're going to need your coke furnace to make your coal, coal coke. You're going to need your coal coke to make your steel. And then you're going to need your steel, creosote, oil, and treated wood for making quite a lot of the other things, including your windmills and your water wheels and your diesel generators. But it doesn't really take that long, other than waiting on the steel to smelt. If you look at this, that only goes up one tiny little bit every like three or four seconds. And this takes a very long time also to turn blocks of coal into coal coke. It's a fun little mod. You can do a lot with it. There are also things like the refinery and you can make turrets and guns even. There's a revolver in here somewhere. Well, there's a rail gun, a chemical thrower, a revolver. So you can even make guns and bullets with this mod if you wanted to. Yeah, that's going to do it for today's tutorial. I really hope that you learned something useful. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps YouTube's algorithm decide to show my video to more people. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and take care. Bye-bye.